Pastor. Uh, once again, it is a privilege for Rolling Hills Baptist Church to host the Harper Brothers anniversary concert with a very, very talented family group, the Bobby Bowen family. How many is excited tonight? Aren't you excited for some, for some great gospel music? We have been looking forward to this for for quite some time, and uh, we are just um, delighted to have you here. Of course, some of the questions that are always asked are where uh, where is this good smelling barbecue coming from? It's in our uh, our dining hall. How many was able to get some barbecue? How many enjoyed it? Well, okay, well, good. Uh, here's here's some things. We will continue to sell. Uh, to go dinners, if you want to buy a to go dinner for eight dollars uh, for an adult, four dollars for a child. But we are also um, we are also selling these limitedly. Um, it is a, a pan uh, for thirty dollars. Uh, it's ten pounds of, of pork, uh, pulled pork, smoked for more than twelve hours by a professional uh, barbecue person, I guess, barbecue chef. And uh, it, it was smoked. So $30 each. We have limited pans available. So if you would like that, you can purchase that. All of proceeds uh, for this, uh, for the barbecue, go to a wonderful organization called the Jason Project. And James and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Nipper, I'll, I'll say that, the brother and sister Nipper, um, we have, we've known them for, some, for quite a while. They come to our concerts, but they also host a wonderful organization. If you don't mind, I want to introduce you to the Nippers tonight and let them tell you a little bit about why we are raising funds for their organization. Would you please welcome Brother and Sister Nipper tonight? As you can see up on the screen, the Jason Project, that's our Jason Project logo for the hiking program that we have. Um, we would first like to thank the ladies of the auxiliary, auxiliary of the church, the Sisters in Christ, for donating the profits from the barbecue dinner to support our program. We really do appreciate that, and we thank all of you that came early and had some of this delicious food. Um, we both want to thank you and take this opportunity to tell you about the Jason Project and the Grandfather Challenge Hiking Program for at-risk youth, which we've organized in honor of our late son, Jason. Okay? Um, I will take a few minutes now to tell you a few things about Jason and about the Jason Project. And if anyone has questions after um, tonight or they would like to know more about the Jason Project, please come up to us afterwards and get one of our brochures. That's what they look like, and we'll give it to you. It explains the hiking program, and it talks a little bit about Jason. So I'll let you sit down, and let me tell you a little bit about Jason. To understand, this was the best, this was the best part for him, okay? He's happy to let me stand up here. Okay, to understand what our program is all about, you need to understand a little bit about our son, Jason. Okay, um, Jason grew up a very happy, very gifted child, um, typical childhood, happy, enjoying life. Um, he loved music, he loved reading, he, he loved nature a lot. And we have a home in North Carolina cabin, and our two boys enjoyed all of their times going up there and being in nature. Jason especially loved hiking. Um, Jason started having, mental health, started having mental health issues when he was in his mid-teens. He started having depression. He started having anxiety. Um, he started struggling. And, you know, how do you ever know your child's going to be the one with a mental illness? Um, but he excelled in school. He went to Paxson, nearby Paxson, and he earned an IB um, bachelor, baccalaureate degree, and even attain, obtained a four-year scholarship to the University of Florida. Unfortunately, his mental health issues kept compounding and kept getting worse, and he finally had to leave the University of Florida after a couple years and move home. 
Um, he lived with us. He struggled with life. He worked valiantly, valiantly to try to overcome some of these mental health issues, but he struggled a lot, and he had a severe mental illness. And like so many people with mental illness do, they, they turn to substances, and Jason did that too. And everybody knows that when you turn to substances, it only complicates any mental illness that you might have. Um, Jason lived with us, and he passed away when he was 26 years old. And he passed away in June of um, June 24, 2014. So that tells you a little bit about Jason. Now let me tell you about the Jason Project. Okay, because of Jason's love of nature, because Jason was a sweet, kind-hearted soul, he always loved to help other people, um, we had to do something to remember him, something that would make him proud and make us proud. And uh, we organized the Jason Project, and one of the first programs that we sp have sponsored is what's called the Grandfather Challenge. And this is a hiking program that we have for at-risk kids where they complete most of the, or all of the trails on Grandfather Mountain. So I don't know how many of you have been to Grandfather Mountain in Linville, North Carolina, but it's a very popular attraction, and they have a lot of hiking trails there. <laughs> So um, the kids, let me tell you a little bit about the hikes. We have 10 kids at a time go on these hikes, and they have two chaperones and two professional hike leaders. They take four hikes that are all-day hikes, and they're spread a week apart. So there's four hikes in four weeks. Um, they get progressively more difficult. Our nonprofit provides for them hiking boots, morale hiking boots, backpacks, um, socks, raincoats, all the things that they could use. And if they complete the program, they keep those items. Um, each hike is led by two qualified and experienced leaders. And this is what I'm going to read off the paper because it's very, very important to us. Each child is mentored, encouraged, and supported by leaders who try to install, instill self-confidence, trust, respect, and a strong commitment to completing a rigorous, challenging physical goal. Okay, And that's what the Grandfather Challenge is. It's not easy. It's not a field trip. It's a major hike, and it's a major commitment. And we believe it's a super wonderful accomplishment for these kids. And what we do is on the last hike day, which is about 11 hours, and it's up to the mountain, over the top, over the other side in the ridge. It's the 11-hour hike that these kids take. Um, after they're done with their hike, we celebrate. We take them to an awards dinner at an Italian restaurant where they get all the pizza they can eat, lots of goodies. We have a recognition time, and they get a certificate of completion and other th things for recognition. For the past four years, we've hosted an average of 100 different hike experiences for at-risk students from middle school and high schools. Okay, and something very important to us is our goal and our mission. And I'm going to read that out to you so I don't forget any part of it. Okay, our underlying goal in the Grandfather Challenge program is to use the adventure of mountain hiking and climbing combined with the leadership skills and experiences of hike leaders to teach at-risk kids that through perseverance and commitment, they can rise above their challenges in life. Okay, and I want to be real clear to you, um, during these hikes and during the awards dinner, we always remind the kids that they are children of God and that God wants them to overcome their challenges and succeed in life. We try to just plant those seeds for personal growth and success, and we firmly believe that God will bring these seeds to fruition at a time and a place of his choosing. So I've given you some of the facts and some of the information. We're very proud of this program, and we're very humbled by the support that we've gotten and the people that have made this program come alive. So if you'd like more information, we have brochures with our email, phone number, Number on it. Um, feel free to talk to us afterwards if you'd like to know more about the Jason Project. Okay, so we thank you. We thank you for this opportunity to tell you about this program. Thank you very much. And we ask that you please, please pray for the Jason Project and pray that God will continue to bless our efforts for these at risk kids. Okay, thank you for letting us come tonight. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much. That's why we are we are so uh, uh, we are so humbled that we could help them with this. And thank you to all the ladies of our Sisters in Spirit group for putting their hard effort into putting this barbecue on for us. 
Amen. If I've not been able to meet you tonight, uh, not that I'm that important, but I'm the pastor of this church, and, and we are just so thrilled that you are here, and uh, Rolling Hills Baptist Church loves to open our doors for great gospel music, and if you need anything from us, make sure that you see us. We'll be glad to help you with anything uh, that, that you need. Well, it's time for some great music. I'm going to ask our friend and brother in Christ, Brother Doyle Harper, to come up and not only open us up in a word of prayer, but he's going to introduce the Bobby Bowen family to to you. Thank you, brother. Let's bow our heads together. Father, we love you. We thank you, Lord, that we can come to the house of God tonight and just worship the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Lord, I pray tonight as these songs go out and these uh, folks are sitting here tonight, and for someone here the need tonight, whether it's salvation, recommit their life to Christ, or just need prayer tonight, Lord, they'll realize tonight they can move at any time. Come to these altars. Be glad to pray with them tonight. So, Lord, as we begin our concert tonight, may you just walk in this place tonight. May when we leave here tonight, we'll say what David said, that it has been good to be in the house of the Lord. So you bless tonight. We care for to praise you and thank you for what you do. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's people said, amen. amen. Good to see you in the house of the Lord tonight. We're, we're privileged to be here tonight. And let me say thanks to Brother Stephen Gunner and the church here at Rolling Hills for opening up their door for us. I think it's our third or fourth anniversary sing we've had over here. And y'all been so gracious to our family. We thank you for that and for your friendship. Uh, and I was going to tell, where Stephen go to? Did he run off? <clears throat> he went that way. Oh, there he is back in the back. Uh, now, Stephen did not know this because he did not ask me this. But his name, last name is Bowen, not Bowen. <laughs> and not Bobby Bowden, all right? <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, that's all right. I heard the ad on. The, I heard the ad, and I said, "Well, it's too late to draw it back now." <laughs> all right, so we'll go with Bowen. All right, but uh, I, I met Bobby years ago. We were reminiscing uh, on the front row. It's what you do when you've been in gospel. You just talk about old times, and and he and I actually went into gospel music the same year, 1982. He went into full time gospel music, and I went into full time gospel music in 1982. My first group. And uh, I met him for the first time when he was with uh, the Mid-South Boys out of Arkansas. What town was that in Arkansas? Sheridan, Arkansas. And them boys was turning the rocks over. Man, they had some great songs out. And I told somebody tonight, I said, well, if you've never heard Bobby sing, when you hear him sing that voice, you're going to recognize some of that, that voice from some songs that you've heard in the past. Got an unmistakable voice and got the sweetest family. We done had them at our church twice already and plan on having them back next year. If we can work it out with their schedule, we're going to have them back. They'll bless your heart. Let's make welcome out the Bobby Bowen family tonight, all right? <laughs> Y'all ready to hear some music tonight? Let's give Jesus a hand clap, all right? Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth. And I will daily lift my hands. And I will always sing when your love came down. Sing with us if you know it. I can sing of your love forever. I can sing of your love forever. I can sing of your love forever. Over the mountains and the sea, you're runs with love for me and I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth and I will daily lift my hands and I will always sing when your love came down. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love Sing of your love forever. Oh, I feel like dancing. It's foolishness, I know. But when the world has seen the light, they will dance with joy like we're dancing now. I could 
could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. Oh, I feel like dancing. It's foolishness, I know. When the world has seen the light, they will dance with joy like we're dancing now. I could sing of your love forever. 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 Glad to be here tonight. Y'all glad you're here? We're going to have a great time tonight. There's a rest in place in Jesus when your body's weak and your spirit's tired. There's comfort in His arms. There's not a more peaceful home, easy feeling than to rest assured in my Savior's loving arms. If you're weary from the struggle, feeling down, and all alone let me tell you of a resting place where the strength enough for everyone who comes there's a rest in place in Jesus when your body's weak and your spirit's tired, there's comfort in His arms. There's not a more peaceful home, easy feeling, than to rest assured in my Savior's loving arms. But you know we can always find comfort in our Savior's arms. Amen? Amen. If you're hurting and you need a friend to be your leaning spot when you can't stand just lean into the arms of Jesus and with this strength, together we can stand. Cause there's a rest in place in Jesus. When your body's weak and your spirit's tired, there's comfort in His arms. There's not a more peaceful home, easy feeling. Rest assured in my Savior's loving arms. And rest assured in my Savior's loving resting place in Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Well, I can tell we're going to have a time tonight. I've been chomping at the bit, wanting to get up here and sing. Been here ever since about three o'clock and uh, I was ready to go at three. But uh, 
Well, we're glad. We've got a great crowd here tonight. Thank you for coming out tonight. And uh, I am glad to be with my friends, the Harper Brothers. And uh, I really don't know the other two guys, but I know Brother Doyle here. I've been knowing him, like he said, for many, many years. And I think the first time I heard Doyle sing, I was about two years old. Back in, <laughs> back in 1982. No. <laughs> no, I'm just picking at him. You know, speaking of the Bobby Bowen and Bobby Bowden thing, I hear that all the time. I get called all kinds of things. In fact, uh, the Bobby Bowden thing is kind of a funny story. We were in southern Georgia, just right across the line from Tallahassee a few years ago, and uh, they had it out on the marquee, you know, the Bobby Bowen family, here Sunday night, 6 o'clock. Well, the church started getting phone calls. Bobby Bowden's coming to our church? I said, well, if I see people get up and walk out on the first song, I know they came to see Bobby Bowden, not Bobby Bowen. But they did, and they all stayed. If they did keep us see them, they stayed for us, but we appreciate it. Appreciate you being here tonight. How about uh, these two girls up here with me? There's my two of my daughters singing so good. It's my youngest one right here. My wife and I have five children, and uh, she is our youngest daughter, 13 years old, doing a fantastic job, don't you think? We got a brand new CD out back there. She's going to sing this next song. Body to save. Everyone needs compassion, love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of the Savior. The hope of Savior, he can move the mountains My God is mighty to save He is mighty to save Forever, author of salvation He rose and conquered the grave Jesus conquered the grave. So take me as you find me, all my fears and failures. He is mighty to save forever, author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave, Jesus conquered the grave. Shine your light and let the whole world see. We're singing for the glory of the risen We're singing for the glory of the risen King. Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the Conquered the grave You're my Savior You can move the mountains God, you are mighty to save You are mighty to save Forever Author of salvation You rose and conquered the grave Jesus conquered the grave Faith. Yeah. 
job. Wow, Faith, I think they like you here tonight. I think they like you more than they like me. That's all right. I don't mind that at all. We have five children, like I said. Our oldest one is a girl. She'll be 21 next week, hard to believe. And our son is ni almost 19 in October. And then this one came next. She's 16, doing a fabulous job singing and playing that mandolin. Yeah. She was born right in the middle. We got any middle kids that was born in the middle of the family? I was. I had two sisters older, one sister younger, so I was right, kind of right in the middle there. But, you know, it, uh, it was really rough when it came time for hand-me-downs. That just, you know. Those, those cool odds back in the 70s, they just didn't look good on me very much back then. But I made it through, made it through. But uh, we're going to do a song, and I'm going to feature my daughter Hope down there. Her name is Hope, by the way, Hope Bowen. How about one more hand for Hope? This is a little different for us because uh, we love music. We like guitars, we like drums, we like keyboards, we like steel guitars, fiddles, mandolins, you name it. We love music. We just love music. We always have. We thought we was going to try something a little different. We recorded this new CD and we thought, let's do something a little different on here. So we decided to work up an acapella song. Anybody here like acapella music? All right. We thought this might help us get in some Church of Christ churches if we did an a cappella song, but uh, so far none of them are called. So we're, we're waiting. We're still waiting. But anyway, since there's no music, we need that's where you come in. We need some help keeping the beat, keeping the rhythm going. So how many can clap their hands here tonight? Let me hear you. Yeah, you can do it. So I want to get you started here, and I want you to help us out. Just You start by patting your foot first. Everybody do that? Sounded good. Your love is washing over me. Your love is washing over me. Your love is washing over me. And I won't be frightened anymore. Your mercy's washing over me. Your mercy's washing over me. Your mercy's washing over me. And I won't be frightened anymore. Your peace is washing over me. Your peace is washing over me. Your peace is washing over me. And I won't be frightened anymore. Your love is washing over me. Your love is washing over me. Your love is washing over me. And I won't be frightened anymore. I won't be frightened. No, I won't. I won't be frightened anymore. Because of your mercy, washing over me. Because of your mercy, washing over me. Because of your mercy, sweet mercy, I won't be frightened anymore. Because of your peace, washing over me. Because of your peace, washing over me. Because of your peace, sweet peace. I won't be frightened Come on, everybody, anymore. help us now. Your love is washing over me. Your love is washing over me. Your love is washing over me. And I won't be frightened anymore. No, I won't be frightened anymore. No, I won't be frightened anymore. Yeah, y'all like that? Yeah. I like that Acapulco stuff up here or down here in Florida. Faith, grab your fiddle over there. Where is it? There is it over there. Some people call it a violin. Some people call them fiddles. But where we come from, Nashville, Tennessee, we sing a country style of gospel music. It's a fiddle. Anybody here know what the difference is between a violin and a fiddle? What's that? You want to stand up and tell everybody? I'll, I'll give you more airtime than your wife did. So, <laughs> I 
I won't use you as a prop like she did, you know, so hold up the brochure. No, he, he got it right. Nipper, is that your name? Brother Nipper got it right. The difference between a violin and a fiddle is a violin has strings, but a fiddle has strings. <laughs> Here's another one. A violin has a brown neck. A fiddle has a red neck. A couple months ago, we were up in Canada, up in Saskatchewan, Canada. And I told Faith on the way up there, it's about 1,800 mile drive to where we were going from Nashville to, up to Saskatchewan. I said, well, you got plenty of time. I want you to work up a special song for the people in Canada. So she did. A little solo. They loved it. We went from there to Oklahoma. I told her the same thing. Work up something special for the people in Oklahoma. And she did. We went from there to Arkansas from Arkansas to Missouri, from Missouri to Kansas, back to Tennessee, to Georgia, uh, Kentucky. We've been all over the place, and she works up special songs for every state or country that we go to. So I told her on the way down here, we're going to Florida now. You work up a special song for the people in Florida, and they'll love it. So you worked hard, didn't you? You tell them. <laughs> I want you to tell them what you're going to play, what's special for the people down here, okay? Tell them. Tennessee Waltz. <laughs> Is that your special Florida song, Tennessee Waltz? Is there not a Florida Waltz? Does anybody know? What's, what's the state song? Swan, Swanee, Swanee River? Yeah. Do you know that one? You don't know that one? You need to work that one up next time we come down here. All right. Well, Y'all mind if she plays Tennessee Waltz for you? That'd be all right? Okay. Step up real close to the mic. Here we go. Yeah, I like that, huh? Faith, you're a hit here tonight. You know, they really like you. I'm looking out across the audience, and I know I'm going to get some hands when I, when, I, when I say this, but has anybody here ever thought at some point in your life, I wish I could play a fiddle or a violin? Anybody ever thought that before? Let me see your hand. You have Sister Nipper? Have you thought that before? You have? Who else raised their hand? Was, I saw a guy way back with a red shirt over there. This lady right here. This lady. Any guys? Who's a guy is that? Yeah. Miss Nipper, how would you like to have a real quick fiddle lesson? Now, you've already been up here talking, so I know you're not shy about talking, so come on, come on up here. Come on, come on. Y'all give her a hand. Ag her on up here. Come on. Fa yeah. Faith's going to show you how to hold it and how to rake the bow across the strings. And before you know it, you'll be sounding just like Charlie Daniels up here. You wait and see. Here we go. Ah. 
That's not bad. Yeah. She said, get this out of my hands. <laughs> that guy over there in the red shirt raised his, look at him. Now he's saying, no, no, he don't want to get up here. You don't want to try it? Oh, man. How about this young lady right here in the, in the green? You raised your hand. You don't want to try it? Man, who wants to give it a shot? Yeah, come on up here, man. Be not shy. And then I want, I want one of the young people back in the back. I want one of y'all to come up here. Okay? Got to get the youngins in on this. Come on, brother. Who's that on you? Oh, I see. Awesome. This is Pastor Roy right here. Have you ever tried to play one of these before? You have? No, not like that, man. Showing out, isn't he? All right, here he goes. Why don't you step up a little closer to the mic? Maybe they can hear you better. Here we go. I think you better go back to preaching. <laughs> Y'all give him a hand, all right? Good job. All right, got one of the kids back there? Come on. Hurry. This is your chance. You could be a star. Who's coming? Is he not going to do it? All right. You've missed your chance. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. I'll sing when we've been there 10,000 years. When we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun. Lift our voices and sing praise God. 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 Praise God, praise God, praise God. 
praise God, praise God, praise God. Let's praise him tonight. Amen. Go ahead, drive the nails in my hands, laugh at me, where you stand, go ahead, say it isn't me, the day will come, when you will see. Cause I'll rise again Ain't no power on earth can tie me down Yes, I'll rise again Death can't keep me in the ground Go ahead and mock my name, my love for you is still the same. Go ahead and bury me, but very soon I will be free. Cause I'll rise again Ain't no power on earth can tie me down Yes, I'll rise again Death can keep me in the ground Aren't you glad we serve a risen Savior? Amen. Go ahead and say I'm dead and gone, but you will see that you were wrong. Go ahead and try sun, but all will see that I'm the one, cause I'll come again, ain't no power on earth can keep me back, yes I'll come Take my people back. Come to take my people back. Come to take my people back. Amen. He's coming again. Amen. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. We've enjoyed being here tonight. Let me tell you real quick, we got some CDs and things set up at the table back there in the foyer. You can't miss it. Uh, three different CDs tonight, a brand new one called One Heart, One Voice. That song right there is on that new CD. We kind of resurrected that song and brought it back, no pun intended, but uh, I love that song right there. Got some great stuff on it, some other CDs back there as well. They're $10 each. If you buy all three tonight, you can have all three for 20 bucks. Now, that's a good deal right there. There's some other things on the table as well, some jewelry, some T-shirts, 
we love to, for y'all to come back there and just clean us out. We don't have anything to sell in the morning at a church we're singing at in the morning. That wouldn't be too good, did it? But come back there and help us out. We'd appreciate it so much. We'll take cash, checks, credit cards, debit cards. Sometimes when I get real hungry, I'll take a hamburger, pizza, fried chicken. <laughs> I'm not because I ate some of that good old barbecue back there, and it was awesome, really, really good. But uh, we're going to do one more song for you, and a lot of these songs y'all probably never heard before, and you're probably thinking, when are they going to sing something that I really know? And this was it right here. We want y'all to help us with this good old Baptist hymn. <laughs> if you turn your uh, red hymn on at number 135, you'll say, no. I don't know if that's what it is or not, but why don't y'all help us with this old song in the sweet by and by. Let's sound like a big old choir here tonight. If y'all enjoyed the Bowen family, we're going to come back and do some more for you. Oh. There's a land that is fairer than day. And by faith we can see it afar. For the Father waits over the way. Y'all sound good. To prepare us a dwelling place there Let me hear you sing In the sweet by and by We shall meet on that beautiful shore In the sweet by and by We shall meet on that beautiful shore Sing it up! In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. Oh, y'all sure sounded good out there. To our bountiful Father above, we will offer our tribute of praise for the glorious gift of His love and the blessings that hallow our days. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. One more time. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. Shall be on that beautiful shore. Give yourself a hand. Sing it out there. God bless you. You guys are awesome. This is great tonight here. Thank you so much for being so kind to my family. I really, really appreciate it. Can't wait to meet everybody back at the CD table, but the best is yet to come. Amen. The Harper Brothers going to get up here and tear it up. So y'all get ready. Hang on. Here we go. One more time for the Bobby Bowen family. <laughs> hey, it's a, it's a pleasure to have them here. Did you really enjoy them tonight? How many would love to see them back in Jacksonville sometime? All right. Hey, we're going to do something at this portion of, of the service where we're going to need your involvement. You know what's, you know what's coming. It's time for not another song, but uh, but tonight's offering. Uh, you know tonight that um, the five dollars suggested donation at the door was just a way to to pay for some of the base expenses of tonight's concert. And you know that for advertisement and to take care of these groups, that we really do need to give 
uh, so that we can provide for the artists that are here tonight, as well as uh, take care of some other expenses for a concert like this tonight. We thank you so much. Um, those who attend our concerts, uh, you really do give, and you really do give uh, greatly, and we do appreciate that. And so tonight, we would love for you to, to give uh, whatever the Lord lays upon your heart. Also, I uh, just want to let you know, if you'd like to write a check for the expenses of tonight's concert, uh, please make them out to the Harper Brothers. Make them out to the Harper Brothers. Who are we going to make them out to? The Harper Brothers, okay. So it's going to be easier uh, to, to go through the Harper Brothers for this tonight. And so we do appreciate your cheerful and generous giving to the Lord tonight. And uh, we're just glad that you are here tonight. Secondly, if you have one of those Lifeline concert cards, uh, if you have your card and it's filled out, hold it up for me one more time. Okay, good. So we, we're going to come around and not only take the offering, but we are going to collect these at the same time. And and then at the end of tonight's concert, when it's uh, when it's all over, we're going to give away a couple free CDs to the winners and tell you about some great gospel music that's coming. So I'm going to ask us, since you've been sitting for a little while, would you stand with me as we ask the Lord to bless our offering as our ushers will make their way to the front? L let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for this evening. We thank you for the blessing that we have received so far tonight. Lord, we pray for everyone who is present tonight. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to give, and we pray for those that you would bless those who can give and those who can't give tonight. And Lord, we pray that you would um, you would bless the offering to help it cover everything that we need it to cover tonight. And we ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. All right, don't go anywhere as the ushers are coming on or coming around. Um, real quick, real quick, if you do need restrooms, we do have a restroom. privilege to have one of the most talented trios and it is an honor to be here with them tonight would you make welcome the harper brothers tonight Where the streets 
As they were singing tonight, I thought, how lucky is he to stand up here with two pretty girls and look what I got to stand up here with. <laughs> we all got our crosses to bear. I found mine. <laughs> that ain't funny. Uh, is anybody seeing the Harper Brothers for the very first time here in Jacksonville tonight? Well, I know one back there in the back is. We have a couple here that haven't seen us before. Uh, let me introduce our bunch for you tonight. Uh, Wayne, come up here. As a matter of fact, uh, she's still here, ain't she? Yes, she ain't left yet. <laughs> uh, Wayne's wife, uh, if y'all know the story, you've heard me about when I joined Gospel Music in 1982, I joined a group called The Songman out of Maryville, Tennessee. And uh, this in here was playing the steel guitar and the banjo and it had strings on it, he could play it. And we come to Florida. My aunt sitting back here was looking for her husband. He's now my uncle. This is Uncle Wayne Blackman. Make Wayne welcome, all right? <laughs> Connie, just wave at him back there, honey. That's, just, that's Wayne's wife, Connie, back there in the back. Uh, my mother's sitting beside her. That's mother back there. Angel's sitting right there beside them. And uh, Sierra's there. Uh, <laughs> 
Brian, wave at him, buddy. That's Brian back there. What's a little bit smaller? Ella. Ella. Ella, Ella, wave at him, honey. That's a little Ella. That's Dwayne's granddaughter. And uh, glad to have them all with us tonight. And uh, uh, my little redhead, uh, y'all hear me talk about Facebook all the time. She's sitting right here. Wave at him, honey. That's my little redhead right there, all right? That's Miss Sherry. Grateful to have her in the crowd tonight. I'll have to behave the best I can, all right? <laughs> well, she'll let me know about it when I get home tonight, all right? Uh, Jess' wife says she's in hurt us enough she wasn't coming tonight, all right? <laughs> But uh, Jeff, Jeff started singing with us back in 2000. The original Harper Brothers started back around 1967, 67, 68. I was not in the original. <laughs> uh, and we started singing right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, we were all going to church over at Holly Ford Baptist Church at that time. And uh, Daddy was saved over there, Mother. And then Daddy would become a deacon there and surrender to preach. But uh, long story short, we used to gather around a piano one night and began to sing. And Mama taught us how to sing harmony. And that's how the original Harp Brothers started. Uh, then I left and went to Kentucky, fought, kind of followed Mom and Dad when they lived up there. And uh, I just then got a call to go sing gospel music. And I did that for about 10 years before I surrendered to preach. Went to Bible college. And then the way the Lord would have it, He sent me back to Jacksonville in 1997. So I've been back since 97. So 22 years been here in Jacksonville pastoring. And uh, my middle brother, who was living at the time, Jimmy, was singing with me. But then he felt the call to preach in 2000. So he took off, went to Kentucky to Bible College. This would come to me and said, Dad, I'd like to try to sing that part. I didn't know he could do it or not. But he's proved us wrong. He's done a super job singing our lead and writes about 80% of the songs we sing. He writes them for us. Mr. Jeff Harper, make Jeff welcome. All right. Thank you. My name is Golden, makes up all the Harper brothers. Are you glad to have me at Rolling Hills tonight? We're glad to be home tonight. Let me do a song for you. Uh, most of you know that I spent nearly six years with the Dixie Eckers Quartet. And uh, when I joined the boys, uh, Randy came to me after about a few months and asked me about listening to a song that one of the original tenor singers, Mr. Billy Dell Sexton, who's an Arkansas boy, wrote for them. And uh, he was the only one that ever sung the song. They've tried to get other tenor singers to do it, and they just didn't feel comfortable doing the song. So when I come along, Randy... I'm dating myself. He threw the cassette at me and said, listen to this and, and see if you think you might want to sing this song. And it became in gospel is what they call my signature song. And uh, I, I never grow old singing a song. It's blessed my heart. This old four pearl farm boy. You know, I wrote this song. I'm going to touch your heart. It says, I want to see Jesus because he died for me. If I never walk upon those streets of purest gold And if I never sit beside that crystal sea And if I never see those mansions prepared to be My final home, I want to see Jesus Jasper, oh, those twelve gates of pearly wine. If I don't shake beneath that old tree of life, if I turn me dead now to return, I'm just gonna bow at his nail-scarred feet. I want to see Jesus. Go! 
gently brushed all my tears away. It's a wonderful change. It's a wonderful change. It's a glorious change. It's a little too close. <laughs> Same song, but right? I'm Second verse. It's so sweet to trust in Him. Jesus is my dearest friend. There's no other that can take His place. He has promised me a home on time. And with him I'll ever abide. Oh, how I long to see his holy face. It's a wonderful change. It's a wonderful change that Jesus made in me. He saved my soul. Yes, he saved my soul. What a happy jubilee. I'll reign with him. I'll reign with him throughout eternity. It's a wonderful change. It's a wonderful change. It's a wonderful change. It's a glorious change. It's a wonderful change that Jesus made in me. He saved my soul. Yes, he saved my soul. What a happy jubilee. I'll reign with him. I'll reign with him throughout eternity. It's a wonderful change. It's a wonderful change. It's a wonderful change. It's a wonderful change. too close. I, I thought Wayne was going to moonwalk there for a minute. <laughs> Amen. Why are we having a great time tonight? You know, there's a lot of folks out in the world tonight that are turning up a bottle, shooting something in their vein, popping a pill, thinking they're going to have a good time. So the only problem is tomorrow morning we'll tell the tale. See, tonight we can come and be happy in the Lord and go home with our head down and get up and go to church and serve them again in the morning. Amen? Yeah. That's what I love about singing gospel music tonight. And let me say just thank you to all of you for, for many, many years. You've supported our ministry for 22 years here in Jacksonville. And, and uh, you've all heard us talking about uh, at the end of the year we're shutting the, the group down. Uh, I've seen some dear friends tonight. Nancy Joe and her precious husband here tonight with us. Been dear friends of ours. Uh, for a long time. And if you're ever home, here's some good singing. Get the Duncans to come and sing for you. They'll bless your heart. They're glad to, glad to see you tonight. And then I got a dear friend with me tonight, standing back in the back. Most of you know that I've joined another quartet. Well, we've done one date together. We've got a couple more next month starting again. The, the Butler Brothers, right out of Savannah, Georgia. Our bass singer, Marion Butler, standing back here in the back. Mary, just wave at him back here. That's the bass singer. That's Mr. Mary, Mary Butler back there. I've, I've already come to love these guys. I've only known them for about three months now. And uh, just the way the Lord worked things out. It's a, it's a marvelous story when you. How, how many of you know God always has a plan for your life? Uh, most of you know Sherry and myself are so proud of Jeff. He is 
uh, Jeff's in his last year of law school. We will have a lawyer in the family. Thank you. And uh, he, he studies nonstop. Uh, every time we go somewhere to sing and we ride in the vehicle and look back and he's got a book about that thick and he's got his high highlight mark around. He's got his headphones on. Sometimes we'll ride for hours and he'll never say a word. He's got a headphones to listen to lectures and everything. And so we've, we've just, we knew a long time ago that this day would come and uh, where he would have to buckle down to that law school. He'll graduate in May and then start his practice. And so we thought, well, we'll finish the dates up to the end this year. And so when we made the decision, well, about three weeks after we made the decision that I got a phone call uh, from Marion. And uh, he actually asked me, did I know somebody? And I had said, well, I can give you a couple names. And after I hung up the phone, I shared with my wife. And she said, maybe you ought to pray about that. She said, you know, you're not going to be happy if you're not singing. And uh, so I couldn't, I just couldn't lay it down. And, and so I, I ended up calling Marion back. And the way God would have it, most of I pastor in town, so I don't miss church on Sundays. I'm not going to go sing somewhere when I got a, a people to shepherd. Well, come to find out, when I get there, these boys' daddy was a preacher. My daddy was a preacher. There's three boys. There's three boys in my family. One of the brothers that are singing is a pastor, so he doesn't want to leave his church on Sundays. God just put it all together. And uh, it's just a modern, it is, it's, it's an amazing story. And just a great bunch of guys. I hope for long we have them here in Jacksonville so you can hear the Butler Brothers. We've done, we've cut a CD already, and uh, you'll be hearing about that later on. But uh, we appreciate you tonight for supporting our ministry all these years. We don't take it lightly. You could be anywhere you want to be tonight, but you've chose to come and spend your evening with us tonight. And uh, I can't say enough about Stephen Gunner and his wife and this church family here. Uh, they have been so good to the Harper Brothers. They've been good for Jacksonville with gospel music. I, I tell folks all the time, and I'm not just saying this because he's sitting here tonight, but there's not a promoter that I'd rather work for than that one sitting right back there. Stephen knows how to promote. Got a great mailing list. He, he knows how to get the word out. He does everything top notch. That's what I love about Stephen Gunner. He don't leave no stone unturned. Thank you, Stephen, for all your work here in Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> I'm trusting that everybody here tonight knows Jesus as your personal Savior. Amen. I heard Ronnie Henson say one night, if you don't, we've come to get you tonight. <laughs> uh, I, I want you to know tonight that heaven is real, but hell is also real. I'm preaching a message to me in the morning. I'm not going to preach it tonight. But I'm preaching the message in the morning. It turns it's too long to get it wrong. One day, we're all going to spend eternity either in heaven or in hell. Tonight before you leave, I trust that you'll make Jesus Lord of your life tonight. Because see, the Bible talks about heaven. Jesus told his disciples in John 14, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. For in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I'd have told you so. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again to receive unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. We all dream about that place we're going to. One day we're going to get there. Jeff wrote a song that simply says, Sunday. Listen to this song that will bless your heart. I often think of heaven, how the streets are paved with gold. The crystal river flowing Oh, the sights I shall behold Cause soon I'll cross that raging tide When I reach the other side I will get to see what I Step inside, and someday this old house of clay it will never be the same. Amen. No more sad goodbyes. I'll leave this world behind. Then I'll bow before His throne. 
Yes, I will firmly make it more someday. No more pain. Heaven's beauty we will share. Cause soon I'll reach that peaceful shore. Then I'll finally see my Lord. And in the shelter of Nothing to 
favorite writers would have to be Rusty Goodman. You know. Rusty's wrote so many great songs down through the years. And I was talking to uh, an engineer in Nashville, Tennessee one day when uh, I was still with the Nixie Echoes. We had just gone in the studio and the night before the Goodmans had been in the studio recording. And one of Rusty's songs that he wrote, Rusty was going through cancer at that time and Kevin McManus is the guy I was talking to, and Bobby knows who I'm talking about. And he wrote a song and he, he said, Lord, he was so sick that he could not stand up, so we brought him into the control room. And I just had to wear earphones so there wouldn't bleed over. And we hung, he laid on his back and did his last couple songs, laying down with the microphone draped over top of him to sing. And those songs touch hearts all across the country. I'm grateful for a place called heaven because I'll get to see Rusty Goodman again one of these days in Vestal. And I'll, today I'll, I'll catch the gate of videos and have an honor to sing in gospel music about all those old timers on there I got to stand on stages with and got the fellowship with. And to see them, they're all past or all on the other side waiting. Can you imagine what heaven's choir is going to sound like these days? When I started going to rehearse with the Butler Brothers, the Marion asked me, said, uh, won't you, what's, what's one of your songs you like to do on New Project? And this one, Jess Plainer, here's the one that we put on New Project. You listen to this. When you finally make your entrance to that city of Jasper Walls, and bright golden avenues as you behold all its beauty and its splendor remember there's just one request I make of you So much to view after you've been thirteen thousand years, a million, maybe two. Look for me, for I will be there too. Listen as you go down. First, there's no question you'll want to see your loved ones waiting there for you, and when you feel 
you shared your story with the last one that wants to hear you tell just how you made it through then look for me I'd like to hear it too I realize when you arrive there'll be so Look for me, for I will be there too. Just look for me, for I will be there too. While we're on this vein, it's kind of got kind of got spiritual in here. All right, don't you just love it when the Holy Spirit just kind of washes through? Yes. Jeff, won't you get pictures? Oh, Jeff, this song Bonnie was telling me backstage or back in the room that this song has really ministered to her. Jeff, Jeff's become quite a songwriter. Amen. Uh, he has got some songs that uh, we've had another group call this past week, another professional group call this week wanting to record one of his songs. And so he has sent them, he sent them six or seven and they called back with one they really liked. So we're going to record this one. Actually, I sent them about 56. <laughs> I'm hoping they'll like at least one. Uh, but uh, I'm serious. He's, uh, there's a publisher in uh, North Carolina that, uh, he has the Hoppers and the Kingdom Airs. Uh, I forget who all he's got. He's got all these different groups. And he calls me about five or six weeks ago and says, man, who's got the publishing on all your son's songs? Because most of you know, if you follow me on Facebook, I'm constantly putting Jeff's songs on Facebook. And because I'm proud of his writing, and I knew one day God would use him that way, and so this guy calls him. And I said, well, I've got the publishing on it. He said, well, would you be willing to split it with me if I, if I take those songs? And he said, if, if, we, if Jeff's willing to do that, I'll be glad to cut new tracks on new demos and we'll push them to the Kingdom Mares and the Hoppers and all those people and we'll get some of these folks pumping his songs. And I said, I think if you'll call Jeff, I can all work that out. And so they've got it worked out. And so we're hoping for some great things there. But he wrote a song uh, years ago. How many of you know that just because you're saved doesn't mean that you're not going to have difficulties and problems in life. Praise the Lord. Yes. All of us at times in our life have gone through those valleys that we didn't know if we could see the light of day. But I've learned in my life, and I'm sure you have in yours, if you'll just hold on, you can find that peace that passes all understanding. Jeff wrote this out of some heartache that he was going through. It's just a one word title. It just simply says peace. That's the song I believe will bless you. If you're going through something, you listen. Where do I begin? Lord, it's not like me to question your plan. It's hard to find joy when everything feels like it's not like before. Lord, I wish 
that I could see the end. Come on now. But I'll have to trust you until then. Lord, I need peace to get me through this trial. You said you'd be here through every tear I cry. Lord, hear my heart. Mend every broken part. Please take this hurt. Fix this in myself. But you said trust in me. Amen. Even when it's so hard to see. When everything seems impossible. Lord, you can be my Lord, I need peace to get me through this trial. You said you'd be here through every tear I cry. Lord, heal my heart, mend every broken heart. Please take this hurt away to the Let me just say to these guys that I sing with that uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get this out. Mm. 22 years, and Jeff's been here 19 of those years, and that's a longer tenure than I've sung with any professional quartet I've ever sung with. Mm. These guys will never know what they mean to me. We've sung a lot of places together. Small crowds, medium crowds, large crowds. But I've never been embarrassed or ashamed to stand on stage any night with these guys right here. They love Jesus. They live what they sing. I think Jeff said it best when we announced it. A month or six weeks ago, we announced we were going to shut the quartet down, the trio down at the end of the year. That He's not on Facebook anymore, so he said, Dad, I, I got something I want you to put on Facebook for me. And he did. And, and Jeff said, this is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Is, you know, when, when God shuts a door, he always opens up another one. And I just pray God's richest blessings on Wayne and on Jeff that God will continue to richly use them just like I know he's going to use me. Uh, it's a different avenue for me. I, I can tell you with all assurance, I know that God opened this door for me. And I love the boys that I'm going to sing with. And uh, When you meet them, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll love them too. Those are great guys. But I'm with Jeff. It's a hard thing to, to do. We, uh, we've got one more time. We're going to be back here in December the 13th, I think it is. Uh, the Harper Brothers and Dixie Echoes will be here on the 13th. That will be the last concert 
for the public right here at Rolling Hills. Uh, so the Dixie Echoes here. And then we've got one more date the next week on a Tuesday night. This week, First Baptist Callahan called and said, is there any way we get you boys to come and do our Christmas party for us uh, before they're combining the church and doing a huge Christmas party? said, can we get y'all? We know y'all like winding things down. Can y'all come and do our Christmas party? So I said, let me call Jeff. Make sure he can do it. He called me and said, yeah, Daddy, I'll be out that night so we can do it. So we're going over there for two. But that's a private party. You can't come. All right. <laughs> Uh, so unless you move your membership, yeah, unless you move your membership <laughs> over as far as Baptist All right. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say tonight to these guys, I love you guys, and I appreciate you. <laughs> Stephen's already asked us about next year, maybe doing a reunion thing. We we, we possibly will do that. Uh, on occasion, just to get back together. Uh, we're not going to sell the equipment. <laughs> we're going to keep it just in case, all right? Uh, but uh, we'll probably do some reunion stuff. We're talking about, the Marion's already talked about maybe the Butler brothers and the Hart brothers doing something together. You're going to pay me twice that night, brother. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, you, you pray for us. Pray for these guys, all right? When you sing for that long and then you're not singing anymore. Uh, the, the, I, I know that is when you like to sing, you love to sing, it's in your blood. Uh, they're, they're yet to feel that yet, and they will come December. So you pray for Jeff and for Wayne that the Lord will supply their need. I know he will. Uh, I want to do a song, and we're going to pick this back up here. As a matter of fact, let's, let's just make this our last song tonight, all right? Uh, this will be our last song tonight. And we too, we got our CDs out there tonight. And if you don't have a Heart Brother CD, make sure to stop by. There's four different ones out there. You buy them one fifteen, you get all four for thirty dollars. All four CDs for thirty dollars. Check, cash, credit card. If you got some more barbecue, we'll talk after church. All right. <laughs> but we appreciate you now. You stop by and share with us out there tonight. We appreciate you doing that. Uh, I said a while ago, and I meant this on my heart, and I don't mean to be to slander nobody. The folks in the world does not know what the joy of Jesus brings. Because a little G of this world, the Bible says, has blinded their eyes to the glorious gospel, lest the glorious gospel of Jesus should shine unto them. Until they find Jesus, they don't know what real joy is. I'm glad I know what real joy is tonight. Listen to the song here for a Real joy. <laughs> seems to you that I'm full of joy, then let me tell you why. Jesus saved my soul and he washed me clean and I'm happy so I'll testify. I've got joy.
Jacksonville one more time. Let the Harper brothers know how much you appreciate them. Come on, you can do better than that. Amen. And also, did you enjoy the Bobby Bowen family tonight? Okay, we want to give away a CD of the Bobby Bowen family tonight. And uh, we also have another CD that we're going to give away that we found um, uh, for some of our giveaway CDs. And, uh, and so this is a, of another group that, that we found. Um, and so uh, this is, most of you know him, this is Alan Cruz. And he is... He'll be signing autographs. I mean, you got to you got applause this time. Um, he is the vice president of Lifeline Concerts, and he helps us with logistics and sponsorships. So, if you have a, a business or a church that wants to get behind these concerts and fi financially, because it does take a lot to bring this to um, uh, to Jacksonville and the surrounding areas, Alan's your man, and he is the one who can help you with that. And so, we appreciate his efforts for this night and then all the concerts that we have coming through 2019. So we're going to give away a CD first. I'm going to tell you about some upcoming Southern Gospel concerts, give away another one, and then we'll be dismissed in the, in the word of prayer. And we're going to mix these up real good. Debbie Coleman. Is Debbie Coleman here? Oh, there she is. Hey, uh, we'll we'll uh, get this to you in just a second, okay? All right, so uh, come up here to the front. And we'll we'll get it to you. Uh, how how about that? So uh, you'll you'll get this. Uh, this is a CD by a group we were given called uh, the Shepherds, and uh, they're a great great family group. And let's give her another hand. Thank you for for coming tonight. Here you go. All right. Okay, so, so really quickly, let me tell you about some upcoming concerts and events uh, that are going to be m uh, mainly held here. I'd love for you to uh, bookmark our website, lifelineconcerts.com. How many have been to lifelineconcerts.com? Okay. How many are friends with us on Facebook at Lifeline Concerts? How many are friends with Rolling Hills Baptist Church on Facebook? If not, we put a lot of the videos from the concerts and other uh, concert events on there. Uh, and how many are friends with Brother Dole Harper and Restoration Baptist Church as well? Make sure you connect with them for their events as well. So we have some concerts coming up, and I, by you being here, we know that you love gospel music. Let me tell you about a few that are coming up. On the last Sunday of this month, the last Sunday of this month, we are going to be having Channing Ellerton and the Ellerton family. As some of you probably remember Channing, he was the gold, he was uh, the piano player for Gold City Quartet and Poet Voices. Anybody remember Channing from that time? Some of you, some of you out there. He and his family will be with us on Sunday morning, September 29th at 11 a.m. That's totally free. We're going to be taking up a love offering for his ministry. And we're actually going to have dinner on the grounds that night, that day. Uh, we won't have anything at night. So that's September the 29th. And then uh, we are excited about a few um, other concerts that we have for the remainder of the year. Uh, we're um, how many know about the Old Paths Quartet? You hear them on the radio. Well, they're coming to Rolling Hills Baptist Church Sunday night, November the 10th at 6 p.m. here at Rolling Hills Baptist Church. So if you don't have a home church, come out that night. It's a free concert. Nothing at the door. We're just going to take up a generous love offering. So if you have uh, a piece of paper, write that down. Connect with us, uh, the Old Pass Quartet in concert, Sunday night, November the 10th at 6 o'clock p.m. And then uh, going forward in, um, in November, uh, Restoration Baptist Church and Rolling Hills Baptist Church, uh, we are partnering together for a great night of Thanksgiving with the Trinity River Bluegrass Band. How many like good bluegrass gospel music? Well, hope more people do. So uh, 
Um, November the 24th at 6 p.m., Restoration Baptist and Rolling Hills Baptist invites you to come out and join with us for a wonderful night of gospel music. We're going to take up a love offering. That's going to be a wonderful, wonderful night and make plans to join us and celebrate Thanksgiving with us. Also, at the end of the year, uh, Brother Dole already talked about this. Uh, it's Friday night, December 13th at 7 o'clock here at the church. The world-famous Dixie Echoes Quartet. If you, you can't get finer quartet harmony than the Dixie Echoes. The Dixie Echoes Quartet from Pensacola, Florida. And the last scheduled public concert for the Harper Brothers. The Harper Brothers and the Dixie Echoes, this is your time to see to see a wonderful night of gospel music. Just a $5 donation at the door for this concert and a love offering will be received. And so mark that down. Be listening to the radio 105.7 FM and also uh, our, our, our social media and our website. Uh, two other events will give away a CD and will be dismissed. Um, one of our goals here at the church is to impact our community and to minister to our community. One of these ways that we're doing this uh, is through a ladies' conference. It doesn't matter what church you go to, you can be a part of this ladies' conference. Uh, it is our Fall Ladies' Conference on Saturday, October the 19th. That's coming up quickly uh, here at the church. It's a $25 registration fee. It includes your lunch, all the materials that you'll need, and also you get to have a take-home craft when it's all over. It's We cover a lot of bases in this Fall Ladies Conference, and we have a special speaker coming out to this. And so if you want information on this, we'll put one, one of these flyers in your hand as you leave tonight. It has all the information on how to register and be a part of it, no matter what church you go to. This and your lady, ladies need encouragement, men need encouragement. And so this is one of the ways we're going to encourage the ladies at our fall ladies conference. And we're excited about our fall fest coming up. Uh, you can join November the 2nd, 1 to 5 p.m. It's a free fall festival. And so uh, games, food, all that is free. And of course, if you need a home church, uh, if you live closer to the north side, Restoration Baptist Church, Pastor Dole Harper would be glad to open his doors for you. And then Rolling Hills Baptist Church over here on the west side, uh, we'll be glad to minister to you and your in your family. Uh, again, thank you for coming out. Let me give one more CD away. A CD for the Bobby Bowen family. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Bowen, sorry, sorry. No, I'm so sorry. So sorry. I, I really made the, the Seminoles fans happy for a second. All two of you in here, thank you for being here. Uh, okay, um, I may know who this person is. Pam Sullivan. Pam Sullivan, you win a, a CD of the Bobby Bowen family. And if your church has gospel music, make sure that you connect with the Bobby Bowen family, and uh, they'd love to come and sing at your church. Hey, thank you so much for being here tonight. Let's end with a word of prayer. Remember, you can purchase barbecue dinners to go in our fellowship hall, $8 for adults, $4 for children, and a limited supply for $30 of the 10 pounds in pans back there of the, of the professionally cooked pulled pork, and of course, all the group's tables are at the back. Would you like to dismiss us in a word of prayer? Okay, Brother Allen's going to dismiss us. Everybody stand if you would, please. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day, the privilege that we have to be here tonight to hear your name uplifted in song. We thank you for everything you've done for us, dear God. We ask you to bless the people as they go on their ways, keep them safe from all harm and danger, and we'll thank you and praise you for it all. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> <laughs>